Hi, my name is Helen Clapperton and I'm a project worker for Bernardo's Pathway Service Falkirk. I currently work in Breeze High School in a Wednesday, supporting young people and their families through Home School Partnership Pupil Equity Funding. I thought it would be useful to put together this short video to share some tips and advice for parents and carers of teenagers, because I was thinking, it's not an easy job being a parent or carer, but equally, it's not easy being a teenager. So what can we do to make life that little bit easier for us all? Our children, home life and getting them to school with as little stress as possible. What do teenagers need? What all children need from parents and carers change as they get older. However, when they get to the teenage years, it can sometimes be more challenging. This is where they display behaviours that you might not have seen before. This can be hard to understand when their mood changes and they sometimes become withdrawn from you. This is all part of growing up, with their peers and social media becoming their greatest influence. It's okay. It's just them developing their own identities. And if you cast your mind back to when you were a teenager, well, what can I say? Boundaries and rules. All children look for guidance from adults around them and perhaps moan about rules and boundaries that are in place at home and in school. They know the rules are in place to help them understand how to behave towards each other. This can also cause them to challenge and test your patience. But deep down, they will know that this is a sign that you care for them. Keep it simple. Decide what the rules and boundaries are and stick to them. Don't move the goalposts as this will give them mixed messages. Something that you allowed them to do last week suddenly changes this week. That can be confusing for your teenager and can increase conflict between you both. Try to avoid using terms like I'm telling you and ultimatums and don't promise things that you can't fulfil. Give yourself some thinking time and say you will get back to them when they put you on the spot. Try and get them involved with some rules you would like them to follow at home. Get them to come up with ideas that would make life easier for everyone while respecting each other's views. Review these regularly and recognise that they might need to change as your teenager gets older. The challenge can be sitting down with your teenager. Try using the car journey when you're dropping or picking them up from somewhere as a starter for conversation. By listening to them, they will feel they can come to you when something is wrong or they are worried about something. If your teenager has done something wrong, explain that it is the action you are unhappy with and not them. Promoting positive behaviour. Praise good behaviour whenever possible. Try to focus on the positives rather than hanging on to the negatives all the time. Build up a trust with your teenager. This allows them to prove to you that they can be responsible. Talk to your teenager about rewards. Ask them what they think is fair. If it's pocket money, be upfront about a realistic amount and don't feel you have to keep up with everyone else because you will be aware that they will say everyone is getting more than them. Remember, you're in charge and you decide what you can afford. There are other ways to reward positive behaviour, such as extra time to do something or staying out later with friends. Listen to what your teenager is saying and explain to them how you're feeling if their behaviour has been negative. Be a good role model and don't do things that you wouldn't want your children to do yourself. Keep calm and carry on. Teenagers can challenge even the calmest of parents and carers. With all the pressures of life, such as other children, work, relationships, family commitments or illness, it can feel as though your teenager is going to push you over the edge. Although it may be difficult to do so, Allow them to learn from their own mistakes as long as they are safe. Just remember when you were a teenager and accept that they might do things differently to you. Try not to react to angry outbursts. Teenagers often hit out at the people they most love and trust. Not because they dislike you, but because they feel confused. Sometimes they will say things that they don't mean, like I hate you. They don't hate you but they are annoyed, confused or upset and don't know what else to say or do. School life. If getting your teenager out of bed and into school in the morning poses a problem or they are experiencing periods of anxiety, talk to them about it and don't ignore the issue. Putting a good routine in place can start with you. 
What our teenager see us doing is all part of them growing up. This prepares them for their own lives. Realising that the school morning routine starts the night before. Being able to plan and understand what the day looks like may help teenagers feel in control and be able to take on responsibility. Talk to them about anything that has been a struggle in the past getting ready and going to school. Being honest with them if they are upset about going to school. Rather than saying everything will be okay, you might want to say, I know you might be anxious about going to school, but it's all right to have these feelings. It's normal. Get them to put out clothes and other things they will need in the evening for the following day at school to be prepared. For example, their PE kit. Digitally detox. Set a reasonable time to come off devices. This is difficult and again maybe try it yourself and set a challenge with your teenager to see how you both do. Give yourself plenty of time in the morning so you're not rushing or getting stressed before leaving the house. Remember that whatever way you handle the morning routine, you are setting an example for them. What they see us doing with them is what they are going to do themselves. Finally, have some fun while building relationships. Show your teenagers you're interested in what they like, even if you don't know much about it. Ask them to tell you more about their interests. Have a laugh with them. Remind them of the things they did when they were little. Bring out the family photos. I'm sure you want to be the best parent carer you can, but try not to get too stressed about it. Be prepared to compromise and admit you've been wrong and sometimes have made mistakes yourself. Don't give up or be too hard on yourself if things don't immediately change. Focus on small steps and achievable goals. Remember that they will still love you and hopefully thank you later in life for caring for them.